That sucks a lot. It's going to be so long with two points of wound like that. All right, there's our hunchback portion, Kintaro portion. So we get three Kintaro pieces. And I have trebuchet or hunchback portions. I'll take another hunchback portion. Okay, there's a PPC plus there. It'd be nice to have. But I'll have to get lucky for that. I actually picked up the trebuchet portion. That's nice. As well as the Vindicator portion, which is whatever. Got the PCP plus. That was a really nice roll in the loot there. Okay. In battle. Speed is life. No, armor's life. Speed is overrated in this game. Yeah, it's not the auto cannon hunchback, though. I'm pretty sure it's a laser variant. You want it is back online. Okay, so we're going to have to put something away with taking out the, the Kintaro. Uh, can I tell from here which ones I've modified or am I just supposed to remember that? So we've got our Brawler Vindicator. This guy's being refit. This is the one we just brought back. So all those are brought back except the, the blackjack. I think it's probably time to put the blackjack away. All right. He was out of action for a day. Medusa's 17 days. And chat is out for 34 fucking days from that. It's ridiculous. Okay. All right, are we out of missions on this at this location? Yeah, we are. So they want us to go to Panzer. We want to go to Weldry for missions, but Liberation Panzer. All right. Um, okay, it's the mission I thought we were fighting last time. It's not. It's fine. We can do that. Let's take a look at our mechs. What's the bay? like right now we've got 13 days of machine building right now how long on our mech bay two and three days okay that will speed up repair stuff let's take a look at the store make sure i'm not missing any components i want before we leave the system an ac5 plus an ac10 plus a large laser plus lrm10 plus srm4 plus it's interesting um which is it? 77k. Yeah. See our reputation affecting us there. 10% more to buy things here. I assume that's a negative. Can we sell anything here? Could sell off some of these. So we're not out of money, but we got a payday coming up in a moment, right? Financial report in 19 days. And I want to be able to build the next component on our ship. I think I can still afford that. Uh, let's postpone the decision for half a second and just start uh, by leveling our guys. Chat's at 3,100 experience after that. He's 49. Uh, Orders? Decker's at 8,000 and we're just holding on to that for waiting now. For Glitch waiting on 49. And who else was on that? Medusa, right? Yep. Medusa is running towards Master Tactician. So we'll grab that. It feels such a waste to not be running in direct fire on them. I guess the minimum weapon range is still a thing, though. Training okay. Complete. So that's the experience taken care of. I'm going to buy that weapon. Okay. New weapon systems available. We should probably uh, kit out what we want to do here, but we have a guy being worked on right now, so let's just move the timeline forward. Oh, we want that mission, right? 
Let's get going. Calculating course now, Commander. Thank you, Thrizz, for the thousand bits. Cheers, man. That work order is complete, boss. Top notch work, if I may say so. All right, our second bay is done. The best part about the second was well, two great things about the second the bay. The first is it gives us six more mech locations, so we don't have to storage our mechs quite as much. And the second is that we get extra tech points, and tech points changes the amount of time it takes to repair shit. I feel like we should get at least automation one here. We already have a med bay, we can't really upgrade it yet. Am I doing the same mission as last night? We did that this we already did that. Training modules. Let's grab, repair, and refit. What's this next one? So this is just plus mech points again, right? Two tech points, not mech points. It's fine. Ten days. All right, Looks good. Get the team on it right away. All right. The next thing to look at is the timeline. How long do we have on seven days on that? Ten days on the ship upgrade. Seventeen days till we get to where we're going. Let's get our next refitting going. Should have sold some shit before then. This is awkward. The financial report is one day ahead of our travel time. All right, so be it. Uh, let's get our bay working on stuff. I don't think there's actually two. It's not like you get two points in the progress. It just I think it works just faster. So uh, what do we want to refit? The Kintaro is pretty monstrous. It would be nice to refit that. Um, but for now. Kind of be nice to have the Kintaro on this next mission, but not without armor. So maybe I just refit this thing. Let's take a look at what they've given us with this Kintaro build. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Thrizz. All right. Uh, what do we have over here? SRMs for days. Thing has five missile hard points, which is amazing, and two medium laser hard points. It's definitely that early game brawler. It's super heat inefficient, though. I don't want LRMs on here. I don't think that complements this build at all. Let's strip the LRMs. Let's move the ammo to the legs. I'm not sure that's always a good design decision, but I don't like our ammo in the torso. Kex, can we get a command about Frostpunk? I'm getting asked that a lot because it just came out right now. Yeah, I do plan to check out Frostpunk. Um, when I'll do that will be related to when I tire of this game, probably. We're not gonna maybe play it. We're gonna de we're definitely gonna check it out. I, I have a I have a game code for that game sitting waiting for me, um, and I am interested in checking it out. It's not quite yet. All right. Uh, so SRM6, SRM6, we want to pump up our armor here in all of the critical regions because this is a close range missile boat. Again, missiles and lasers, the most efficient close range weapons you get in this game. Two tons off, we're already way over our heat with no, no, yeah, let's see. My love of this thing is tempered by the fact that, uh, it's really set up quite poorly. So, uh, let's take a look at this. The, I think the best... Uh, damage per ton on the SRM range is actually, well, it's, it's identical damage per ton, but just the damage per ton. And then damage per heat. So really we want SRM4s here with this many launchers. Do we have SRM4s to spread around? We've got three SRM4s and another, we have four SRM4s. So let's start thinking about what that looks like. Uh, we have more missile mounts right now, we do. They're a little bit more heat efficient than the SRM-6s. Armor's where I want it right now, mostly. I 
feel like this guy has to do some punching if we're going to actually get any benefit out of this. Because this heat's going to go so fast. We have one more missile mount over there. I suspect two SRM-4s fit better there. Alright, we're exactly 55 tons there. Running 300 rounds of ammo. And how much do we do? This is 10, 14, 18, 22, is that right? 8, 12, 16, 22 missiles per round. Alright, handy dandy calculator. What's 300 divided by 22? 13 rounds of combat. That's plenty. Might even be too much. But I don't know where I'm going to get. Oh, I didn't pump up the center tour, so fuck. I'm not going to have the heat to run this and the medium lasers. Do I just live with the fact that I don't need these medium lasers? What would it be if with 200, we lose a third of our combat time? Don't really want to lose a third of our combat time. I think pull at least one of these medium lasers. I mean, the heat's out of control, right? So, we're, we're running four SRM-4s, which pull out... I mean, I could switch this for an SRM-4. That would give me the rest of it. I lose a little bit of tiny damage, gain a little bit of heat back, lose a little bit of weight. I don't have another SRM-4. Son of a bitch. We could get another SRM-4 by stripping it off an existing mech. If we have one, it has one that we're not using, but I'm not sure we do. That would have been a nice solution. Doesn't look like that's a thing. I need... How much do I even need here? I need 0.63 tons. Can always take it off legs, but it gets sketchy. I could toss the medium laser. get more armor out of this. We have no support slots on this mech, right? Jump jets weigh one, I believe. Jump jets weigh point five. It's never, he's never going to have the heat to use jump jets. It's going to totally fuck him entirely. I can pump up armor on this. I don't really love pulling off that medium laser, but okay. Pump that leg up, armor up to 130. That will do it. Alright. Sure. It's fine. What's the refit time going to run me? So what do we decide? 22? Okay. 10 days, sure. 10 days and 7k. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. Okay. Alright, let's go back to passing time. Morning, Fubar West. We've got a couple things happening right now. Ships are being repaired. Or mechs are being repaired. Mechs are being refit. Mech warriors are healing. We're losing money due to upkeep. Hey, boss. We've just completed those upgrades. Okay. So, we have another navigation thing available. My payout's going to cost me 631 per month. I don't think so. I think it's going to be less than that. But I can't be fucking around too much with that. 
Okay, what's the next power system cost us? 360k, that seems reasonable. Alternatively, we can try to get for another repair and refit right now. For two more tech points. What does this require? Improve power conduits and structure repair. So I have to get two more. I would like mech bay three. Although repair and refit number two sounds great too. Could actually build things in time. Um, let's do structure repair. Well, it's very cheap. 15 days, but dirt cheap. Roger that, Commander. I'll get the crew moving. All right. One of our pilots is back. Uh, happy accidents. Uh, do, do, do. We have more frozen triple F burger meat. Destroy the meat. What is triple F burger meat? Give the crate of meat to Yang. Darius was selling this on the market. I think we'll give it to Yang. Morale increases by one. Tech and company gains plus one tech point for seven days. Great. <laughs> we poisoned ourselves last time cooking burgers. How do we ever win fights? No one knows. No one knows. Here's the financial report. I wrapped up that job. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. Okay, operating costs 651. Ow. Um, we're gonna go back down to normal. I tried extravagant last last time. I didn't really notice any difference for this morale effect. So let's grab normal. All right, and our mech bay is empty right now. So we want to fix that probably. We have a whole other bay. We can pull somebody out of storage and throw some weapons on them. Our Kintaro is set up as we want it. These are all custom mechs except the Jaeger right now. Can I move him? I wish I could move Just for my own sorting purposes. Seems like a weird thing not to be able to do. But we can pull out a bay from storage or a mech from storage. We're sitting on one Locust, one Shadowhawk, and one Blackjack. We just stripped the Blackjack of all its stuff. I don't really want to introduce another 45 ton mech, but we could introduce another Shadowhawk. I'm fine with the builds for that. We could even build another LRM build if we have the me me mechanical components for it. I'm not sure we do. Let's take a look at what our current LRM build is. I wish the names were said in here. So which is which? This is a glass LRM build. So we have a five and two 15s on there. What are my components left for that? Do I have a 5 and two 15s available? I've got a 5. And no 15s available. We've got 10s and 20s. It's not really good enough. I don't think a t I think a 10 and a 20 are worse than two 15s. Let's just take a quick look at that. 15s have the best damage per ton and the best heat per ton of any of the uh, any of the LRM stuff. Or best damage per ton, not the best damage per heat. Uh, what does an LRM 10 weigh? Weighs 5. LRM 20 weighs... Oh, I have LRM 20s available. So we did 15, 15, 5, right? For a total of 35 missiles. Can we do 20, 10, 5? This weighs 10. That weighs 5. That's 15, and what was the LRM5? 2, so it weighs 17. What are the 15s weigh? I don't know, because I can't fucking look at them without having them in inventory, apparently. 15s weigh 7. 
So combine this way is 14 and 2 is 16. The other one was going to weigh 17. So I'd have to either give up LRM ammo or give up armor. I'm not really ready to do that. I think I'm just going to leave it in the mech bay and waste two days of training time, I guess. Feels a little bit bad. I mean, that or I could kit it out for close range stuff. It's just we're starting to accumulate quite a few close range guys. And I would like some variety in my builds. Yeah, the Jaeger would be nice to work on, but I don't have the components for it still. We're not in system for another day. I mean, I could start working on it. I don't know what happens if I... Let's see if we can do, like, a partial refit. So if I pull this, this guy from storage... And ready him. Take one day to ready it for combat, sure. Got it be long. That gives me a day. Alright, that's fine. Let's go to the... Spin the wheel. Okay, we're in system. That work order you submitted is complete. You're ready to proceed with our contract. Probably not. It takes a day to do that, right? So, we're in system now. Can I access the store because we're in system? Yeah, I can. Alright, they have an SRM 4 plus. Uh, they have a heavy jump jet, which I want. I should probably start picking up assault jump jets when I get a moment too. They have AC-20 ammo, but no AC-20s. They don't have a lot besides that, but they do have... Oh, well, they have an AC-20 plus, what am I saying? It's 10 damage AC-20, I want this one. That one sounds fun. The AC-20 plus. So now I want two things. SRM 4 plus sounds nice too. Uh, what is my reputation? 50% price increase. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Anyone know if this is a positive or negative modifier right now? Is it costing me 50% more because they don't like me? That hated reputation, yeah. Oh. Hated? I kind of want this. Anyways. This is going to do 110 damage. This is an all ship announcement. Our last port of call is swallowed prey to a mysterious bacteria. New weapon systems available. No one saw that. It didn't happen. I think I might ignore the rest besides the heavy jump jet purchase. So I want this for our guy. We need five of them. Alright. That was expensive. Um, on our mechs. Do we care? Is there anything we can do with that right now? Not really. Okay. So do I want anything repairing during this? 50% fucking markup. Wait until after the mission, maybe. Maybe that should have. Maybe it would have owned it by then. I'd never know for sure when we're going to change things around. So if I can refit this for a day, that would be ideal. Just pump up its armor for now. How long will this take? Must fit at least one weapon. That would take me one day and 500 bucks. Sounds good. That's exactly what I want. All right, we'll do it. In, we'll do it in parts. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Okay. Uh, that said, let's go take care of this. Let's run the mission. All right.
All right. Hmm. So I remember this mission. Looking forward to seeing it in a moment. Who do we have available? So chat's out for another bit yet. Yeah, Behemoth's back. This is good because I need a frontliner. The biome's polar, which is great for us. We can run a little bit hot on this. They suggested we bring long range weapon mech uh, so we can bring our glass LRM on Decker. I don't know how I feel about Decker having no skill points assigned right now mission was challenging or at least heavy I don't know about challenging there's a lot of guys here I'd rather bring a 55 ton mech here and 50 ton there's whatever this is a close range that's a close range. Yeah, it is. So two mechs with not great heat efficiency, but we're in a biome, a cold biome. This is our long range sniper mech. And this guy is our medium range sniper mech. With super low HP. That one has me the most worried. It's a fairly heavy mech. And then what are we doing about Decker? Am I still leaving him unleveled? It's a lot of experience not to be running on him. So we could make that decision. Okay. Do we have a quick look at that? I think we probably have a quick look at that. Let's go have a quick look at that. What are we doing with Decker? So we have two who are set up. Behemoth and Medusa are set up the same way. Glitch is set up in her own way. She's set up to use an AC-20 a little bit later. Uh, that will be soon. We're almost to Gunnery 8 on her. Good to go. We might even get it after this. And Gunnery 8 gives us Breaching Shot. Which is not super, super fucking helpful. But it might be alright with... Um... Anyways, we're going to have our AC-20 soon on her. Uh, chat is set up for melee. He's our only one who's set up for meleeing. He's going to have ace pilot in a minute. Why am I going ace pilot? How is that fucking helpful? Are we going the wrong way here? Am I supposed to be going for juggernaut? Ah, fuck. Did we screw it up last night? Thought we were going Juggernaut. 